And I'm really jealous. I will beat your ass during a threesome, butt naked. Because you why will. are you doing this? Why are you what? doing you this? Will. There's always complications, and the rules start changing halfway through. One moment it's like, okay, you can only sleep with one person once, and then it's okay. No, I actually want to have this person as a side person. Welcome to it. This is called POV. No, not the porn category, because that's what shoots to mind to me. Uh, I don't know if I'm alone. I might be a creep. Uh, oh. I'm the one named Tools Madala, and I'm joined by two beautiful ladies. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shamiso, a.k.a. Shameless. You know the vibes. You know where to catch me. I don't think I have to explain much. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> and um, Lady, a.k.a. Lady G. Always in the building. Nice to be with you guys. Oh. Nice to have some vibes. <laughs> guys, are you guys matching? Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. wow. Thank I'm you. I'm not complaining either. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you for the phone call. <laughs> Thank you for the memo. Thank you for coming. Um, I must say, one thing about the two of you guys is I love the sound of both your voices. This is... I think I think it's a, it's a melody of voices we've got going on. You've got like the real baritone. The baritone and yeah, then you coming yeah. through with that. She's got the husky, like the bit of, you know. These things happen, guys. Hi, hi. Well, <laughs> let's jump straight into it. It's called Point of View because it's all about that, our point of view, particularly around relationships and love. Uh, it is February. Fish. Um, <laughs> wow, this this time again. Sorry, sorry. Valentine's it's month. Come, it's come around mm. again. What is dating like for you, Shamiso? I mean, are you in a relationship at all? What one? <laughs> <laughs> come on, shameless. Don't say shameless. Yeah, don't shameless. Okay, uh, you know, dating, I'm a lover girl. Love companionship, love relationships. I'd like to think I'm a really good girlfriend. But, you know, right now, I'm just like, you know, I'm chilling. I'm, hey. <laughs> uh, 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 but I'm chilling, but hey. What's what's up? Do you know what I mean? Is it a situationship or you are open to meeting someone but not necessarily tied down to someone? I just need more than just it. I'm I'm chilling. It's it's just like, you know, like I respect you. I'm not your dolly, but I respect you. So I won't be someone else's dolly. Oh shout out. But I'm okay, not your cool. dolly right now. Okay. But yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Lady, are you anybody's dolly? Um, no, actually, this is gonna be like the first <laughs> this I think might be the first Valentine's that like in literal years like surely even a decade that I'm not gonna receive flowers I'm not there's no one that I'm like fighting that deep there's nothing that's I mean obviously you're always talking because mm -hmm. come now like Rick, somebody's Rick always following somebody was crying but it's not that. like there's nothing that's that actually that deep right now yeah I feel like I feel like niggas are full of shit honestly lately facts Niggas are falling right What's now. What's happening? The sky is falling. What's happening? Nothing Look, is grand. The boys are down bad. Nobody's like, home is grand. No woman that I know that's in a relationship right now, it's home is grand. So I'm like, what's up with you guys? Is something happening? Do you need to talk? Is there food at home? <laughs> Come is on. there food at home? No, what's good? Look, like, I'll tell you this. As a person who is a nigga myself, mm -hmm. um, we are fucked up. Look, thank you. Thank you. So so glad glad however, because there's a strong is. blood coming. I could easily say that a lot of ladies are fucked up too out there. So I say that to say this. I think humans in general are fucked up. I was in a relationship recently. I dated a girl who was an angel. I, I barely drink. I hate parties. Oh, really? You know, all those, Worst. You, you know what I mean? I'm like, on the street. Worst. On paper, she was ideal. Mm -hmm. December 3rd, 4th. You know, I started getting those good nights at 6 a.m. Did you get the first? Oh, yeah. That's like the prep mm. for like the whole of December. It's, it's, the, it's the setup, yeah. right? So as much as I'll admit to being a nigga and being part of a group of guys that are fucked up, ladies these days have stepped up hectic. Yeah. City we girls, have to city equalize. Girls have up. We have to equalize. The game is so rigged right now. You guys are up by like 78 points. No way. I'm not going to be mad at my girls for... Do you know what I mean? Just the city girls. The city girls are currently down bad. As far so as down I, bad. I think the girls yeah. are down bad. Yeah. I think the boys are up. Mm -hmm. I think the likes of Diddy are. In, I don't care what anybody says. She's not the city girls. What's her name? Uh, young Miami. It, young Carisha. Miami. In that situation where babies are getting born on a relationship, mm. yeah. like. So grand. I look at someone like Lori Harvey and say, nah. I okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like Lori Harvey. Lori Harvey's like carrying her us on her back. And niggas oh, are like takeaways. You know what I mean? She's our like, only fighter. She's our only fighter at this point. She's representing us. Like, 
I could bring it back to the essay, say maybe Angel and Bali. Oh, oh okay. Not even just speaking away <laughs> of you know trying to make her sound bad or anything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, her even discussing the idea of potentially being in a marriage with more than one person is entertaining that idea. I think women have taken their power back to a certain extent. I mean, yeah. how do you feel about being in a relationship with more than one person? For me. There's no, there's no nigger that is so cool, so amazing, so dope, sex is so bomb that I need to share you. There's no person, I don't even think that I'm worth sharing. I don't think anyone is worth sharing. So no, I'm not about polygamy, polyamory, all of that stuff. Yeah. I'm like, what makes you think that you're so amazing that I would share you with someone? Especially because most times those niggas wouldn't share you. They don't think you dope enough to share. You're not fine enough to share, so why am I is, sharing you? The thing is, Shami, no, where I no, see no, this no, is no, different no. is like, because, I mean, let's just flat out say it, SA, I think, has massive cheating culture. Uh -huh. And I think the difference might be the fact that in that situation, somebody just knows that there's another person. Yeah. Because in a lot of situations, you just we are it. all sharing. We just... Reality. We yeah. just don't yeah. know yeah. who we're sharing with. Somebody's in the mix, but like, mm. so I feel like, in a certain sense, I respect it if she's deciding that she's cool about it. And if everybody in the situation yeah. is cool about it, then that's cool. It'd never be me, but I just you can't know. imagine looking at a nigga and admitting that like, you know, I'm willing to share you. Like you I wanna hold on to you so much that I'll split you in half with someone else. Like I can't imagine what he's thinking in his head. That arrogance that must be running through you thinking, yeah, this bitch would share me like I'm the guy. No. I get that. I can never let him think that. No. I think my point of view is different only in the sense that I think polygamy can work and not because the one person is so amazing mm. or, or that special, but because love on its own is special. Now, wait with me. <laughs> Stick with me, right? If you can love someone so much that it goes beyond your selfish needs, um, I think you can entertain the idea that you cannot completely fulfill them sexually, maybe emotionally, um, for the rest of their lives, right? So if I'm tools, I wouldn't mind, for example, dating some miso and you're dating other people and I'm dating other people, but I choose to still be with you because I love you. Okay. Okay. So I need to intercept you. So you'd as be a person, okay with your honey dating as a other person, people as well? That, if it's clear, yes. Okay. No, but That's I fair. think first of all, as a person, I've been in an open relationship before and it was one of my most long-standing relationships. And I'm telling you right now, the level of confidence that you have to have in that other person, yeah. that level of trust that you have to have to be able to look at each other and say, at the end of the day, you are the it's best always. You. It doesn't, it, you think it'll translate, but it doesn't. Somebody's going to get jealous. Somebody's going to say you like somebody else more. Why you see, like, there's always complications. Then the rules start changing halfway through. One moment it's like, okay, you can only sleep with one person once. And then it's okay, no, I actually want to have this person as a side person. And then why do you feel so strong that you need to have that person as yeah. a side person? So the dynamics of an open relationship and those kinds of chats are for people that... I'm convinced you have to actually be at the end of, like, you have to have been in a relationship for a really long time and now you're bored and you're trying to make it saucy. But you it's still want to be yeah, together. Yeah, like, you still want to be together. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's one of those at the beginning of the relationship, now we're going to have it open. And I'm really jealous. I will beat your ass during a threesome, butt naked, you because will. why are you will. doing this? Why are what? you doing you this? Will. Like, no, I would smack a honey during a threesome because actually, no, my man's enjoying you too much. I can't. Exactly. I can't. I can't. In the middle of but the But naked, cheeks out, tits out, cooch out. I would beat your ass, me and this honey naked on the floor because <laughs> why are you doing this? You're looking too happy. You're going for too long. I got 20 minutes. She got 22. What are you Damn. doing? Yeah. No, so why not entertain no. the idea that, okay, I am looking at her a bit more. I am giving her 22 and you're getting 20, but I'm happy. And you just want to make me believe it at that moment. Happy. I don't care about your happiness that much. Oh, uh, then you don't love me then, do you? Uh, no, I don't care about your happiness that much for you to fuck on another honey. Here's like, the thing, right? No. I think jealousy and all these emotions that we're speaking of, the jealousy, the worry, the trust and all that, gets washed away as soon as the dude has cash. Fine, bitches. <laughs> 
<laughs> bitches, bitches, as soon as I got money, <laughs> then <laughs> now like it's Wolver different, huh? Bitches heal like Wolverine when the bag is good. Let me tell you this right now. Like, I have seen, you have perfect examples of people that are well famous that, like, would normally never take certain levels of disrespect. Mm. The whole Gabrielle Union was pretending that she was just Ray Charles to all the shit that Dwayne, Dwayne was, doing. was like, doing. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I think when the bag <laughs> is extremely the strong, Honeys are willing to accept a lot more. But that's also because there's nothing worse than being in a situation where you're getting disrespected by a nigga that doesn't that can't provide. And yeah, you're like, for free. So it's not only have you just been clowning in this relationship and I might even be taking care of you or we're splitting bills or whatever, mm-hmm. or you're doing the bare minimum, but you're still acting up. I think. You have the nerve. Where's nah. the where's the heart to back up the heart? Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you date a broke nigga? I've it's done been it. done. It's been it's done. It's been I've done. I've paid my dues to the broke boys. I've paid <laughs> my dues to the to the paying for Ubers, dates. Hey, hey, I don't even want to get specific, but I've paid my dues. Those guys know I held them down. Yeah. I'm done now. I graduated from broke nigga school. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm matriculated. I'm in varsity now. You got your it's colors different. and everything. Yeah, it's different. Honestly. Like, no. And I'm not saying you have to be extremely rich. I always just say that I can afford myself and the things that I like to do. So you have to A match man it. must just be able to afford himself, number one, and afford nice things for the relationships. Can we go on dates? Can we go on trips? And all of that stuff. I'm not saying send me 100K a month. I'm not like unreasonable i don't have these crazy high expectations yeah, yeah, yeah. just be able to afford yourself and nice things here and there for me pay for my nails sometimes buy me a new wig like god damn it <laughs> yeah, i love like... wigs i love wigs do you know what i mean if i say i'm going for lunch with ladies come on sometimes you know lunch what I mean? money Christiana, dog. that's all i expect like chill out all right, well, you ladies have some white cards that I handed to you earlier on. Yeah. Now turn them on. Some scenarios that you need to read out loud. And yeah, let's see if we can help the people out with this one. Okay. I've been seeing someone for two weeks and they just got a new place. I'm thinking of getting them an air fryer as a housewarming gift. Am I crazy? P.S. I don't own one myself. I don't think you're crazy. I'm big on gifting. I love do it, do it, do it. But too. two weeks. How much is it actually? I think you can get one for like a grand. I I don't think it's crazy, bro. Shine, grand shine, shoe. shine on him. Also show him that like you, you set a certain standard. He knows that ish. Next time I have to buy this honey a gift, it yeah. has to be something like nice. I can't just. And he's, she's like adding to his crib too. Yeah, and like, you're gonna you're gonna furniture. cook in that air fryer. You, know I mean? you know what I mean? We all benefit. Yeah. So I don't think it's the biggest of deals. Yeah. You know. I agree with you. I've been seeing this honey for two months, and every time we speak, she asks for things. <laughs> Money to do hair. Nails, airtime, it and happens. lunches with the girls. Oh. Do you think I should cut her off? It happens. These things happen. Hey, we so let's do, our do you know what? Let's just sort. No, do you know what? Like, actually, it it's happens. Also, it but it's happens. one of the situations where you, as a person, need to call it for yourself. You need to be like, can I actually afford this situation? Yeah. This situation is is too much. Then mm, pull out. I actually shouldn't be. Yeah. But also, as her, like, at least have okay one conversation. Ask for money. Three conversations. No money. Fourth. Ask for money, like I think it's you two can't months. Back to back, she's two months. For money. She's already gone in. Must divide it with conversations. You know what I'm saying? Then okay, <laughs> months as well. Listen, I call you this morning. Lady and I went to do our hair today. Hi, I'm going to do my hair. She's gonna have money to do my hair. Shab. <laughs> then later, hey babe, how are you doing? How's your meeting? Yeah, bye, no. Okay, miss you. Bye. Drop again. Call later. Just finished doing my hair. Da, da, da. Then you maybe say two days later. Hi, I need to do my nails. She must just split it up because I she's think doing it back to back. No, but don't, I, think, I think I think it's more of a, I think I don't what? even consider it as a conversation thing it's so much as I think it as like in time thing. Like for me, it's two months and she's already asked for hair, nails, airtime, lunch with okay, the girls. That's a lot. And I'm like, that's too much for two months, mm-hmm. especially with somebody that you just kind of met. And I'm yeah. encouraging this story. behavior, but I this don't is, do it. But that's what I'm so saying. I get you. Mm-hmm. But it's a different wrong, story maybe. if you have like, if this is your man's and already there's a precedent that's been set, but she's coming in hot. Like mm-hmm. you need to kind of like, arrange the thoughts and like consideration like oh we're going out do we need to ball every single time we go out no sometimes we can chill out we all Mm. no sometimes we can relax like so sometimes not a uber ask you no 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 (laughs) 
Because, I mean, that's 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 what it Nothing is. Nothing wrong with taxis. Look, like, like, yeah. Hey, that, that example is in line extreme. with what <laughs> she was saying. All right. So, no taxis it is. Next to nothing. Okay, <laughs> so, I've been seeing this guy for a month. I decided to book us into an Airbnb that cost me 3K for his birthday. The only thing he had to bring is food. And he decided to order a street rice too with fuck for us to eat. <laughs> <laughs> is he a loser? <laughs> KFC bangs first of all. I'd be so happy if a nigga KFC ordered me yeah. some KFC. With but the bop, actually, I've tried I it. Mean, I won't lie. Go. It's filling. Let's okay, go. Okay, wait. But she and puts it's his okay. So if he wants to eat KFC, then shit. But guys, come on. I mean, she thought K is gonna come through. They might Ox tail. Maybe, I booked you know for three K. Mean? Maybe she thought like they might cook because it's the Airbnb. It's not a hotel. Mm. This might be a nice moment. And instead, he pulls up a KFC like they hung over. I'm like, I'm also wondering. I'm looking at the guy. I'm like, come on now. Come on. The occasion calls for something a little bit more. But what if you said, you're but you know I love KFC. I'm really craving it. It's, it's fine. It's his I mean, birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday. And he's also the one spending the money on the KFC. But also, she's But now do 3K. I have to eat the KFC as well with him? Yeah, no. At least order me something yeah, from like... Yeah, me then. So, like the Baron, Big Mouth. You know, the Baron... Guys, real love is supposed to be... You know, I mean, the song that say Tambo Lamle Kentucky. That's because we're literally <laughs> sharing that last piece of KFC. But what's important is the fact that we're together. No? Isn't that the whole thing? I made us together with the 3K for the Airbnb. Oh, really? We're spending 82 Rand on KFC. 82 Streetwise 2 is like 60 something, but I hear that uh, to the power of two. I just think it doesn't matter <laughs> how much I spend. A, it's my birthday. So yeah, I shouldn't yeah. be spending, yeah, fine. I shouldn't be spending a cent. To yeah, be fair, fine. actually, she like, I shouldn't be spending a cent. Yeah, like Loki, I food. didn't I thought about it and I was like, mm, Because what? I paid you for $3.99 on your birthday. I picked you up. We went for a date. Yeah, 100 percent Clubbing. Yep. I spent well over three thousand rand. Shame. And you still were not happy because I didn't buy flowers. True. Now, no ways. You can't not buy flowers. You see what I mean? That's crazy. Now if I want, you know, a breast and a chicken thigh from a good old KFC. On my birthday, I don't think I'm wrong for that. I'm not mad at him. I don't think he's a loser. Yeah, not he at just all. knows what he likes, and unfortunately, like it is his birthday. If you yeah. wanted to eat chicken, feet, if it was her birthday, that's what we do. But it's his birthday. Gonna We're gonna eat chicken feet and Sam. And get your street wise, my nigga. You know, eat your <laughs> shit, my nigga. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> Happy birthday. By the way, yeah. Are we out of scenarios? Come on, no, I no, I don't have any more left. You guys have three. I'm done. Are you? Yes. Okay. Well, All right, man. That's just like that. Bad. So rap POV has been amazing, ladies. Some crazy stories. Listen, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, and everybody better be strong. Do you have a Valentine? I don't. I told you this year I will be flowerless. I'm sure. Lady, you're probably gonna wake up with a fucking Chanel bag on your doorstep. What? I literally said that that was something I would. That doesn't happen it's like regularly. It's, it's not coming. coming, bro. I'm telling you, it's, no, it's not. I'm it's sure. not. There will be no flowers, guys. I know this. Yeah, I, I can tell you for free. Ninety nine. Like I'm literally telling you. Like please. This year is me Take and me alone. Take stories. It's gonna Chab, be very I'm sad. sure you're gonna be getting roses, no? Young. If this was a series, it'd say to be continued. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> the end of January. Okay, no January. comment. Or is it because there's too many flowers? What's up? She's even gonna have to. Let me not. Let Look, me not. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely without a Valentine this year. Are you getting flowers this year? Surely. Oh, you I'm not getting flowers. And I'm not sending. Oh, for real? You don't have a little yeah. crush, Nyana? No, 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 no. I do, but I will crush on her after the month of love. I don't want to. I will. I, you don't want to make it too heavy. Yeah, man. Yeah, also, you're coming hot if you're coming. On that day, love. how many flowers or lunches is she getting? True. Tell me your name. I'll wingman for you. Uh, I'd rather not. But <laughs> that's the thing. I think on that day, there'll be a lot of people trying to do a lot of things. So personally, I won't do anything. And you don't want it to be comparing. Rather, you do nothing. But isn't it that they also say yeah. 15th is also for like the side honeys? So like just 15th wait. is for side honeys? Yes. <laughs> really? Yes. What? It's like everybody who's in a relationship does everything on the 14th and then side situations come on the 15th. Surely you guys know this. No, but now, now we do. Now you have to February. make sure your nigga booked the hotel for two days. Dog. Just, it, just in case. Oh my God. Because if he says he needs to leave on the 15th. I don't like you that. You wonder where he's going. You're like, 
Mm. What's up? Now you're like going that. to make up because your side chick had to watch your girlfriend be happy. Because <laughs> they be watching. Y'all be watching. All right, man, ladies. It's been absolutely amazing. Lady Shamiso, Tools Madala. This has been The Point of View. We'll catch you next time.